your fault we're in trouble, so cut it out. He's replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's gonna be taking care of me from now on. He seems really nice. Go on, he wants to meet you. Come on, hurry up. Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. They're pretty boring books. To be honest, I haven't read them all. How about you? You like to read? That's a photo of a paranormal event I studied. That table moved five millimeters in three days on its own. We filmed it and sped up the images so we could see the movement. Interesting, huh? You can sit down if you like. That's my wife, Helen, and my daughter, Laura. My daughter's about your age. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Joni? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him for me? Mind if I take a look? So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him to do something?
You tell him what to do, and it happens. I don't tell Adam what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave, too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. It won't be for long. Just long enough for them to find out what's going on. Please don't leave me here. Just for a couple of days. You'll see, time will go by fast. Susan, we need to go. There's no reason to drag this out. Be brave, darling. You're strong. I know you're strong. Here we have a better chance of understanding what's happening. We can find a way to protect you. Nobody can protect me. Your belongings are in that bag over there. Cole and I are right next door. If you need anything or if anything's wrong, just call and we'll come right away. Okay? Somewhere to change. Hope they haven't put cameras in here, too. To bed now, Jody. I'm going to turn out the light now. Good night, Jody. Wait. <laughs> Can you leave the light on in the hall? I don't like it when it's dark. 
Sure. How's that? Good. Good night. Night. Don't be afraid, Aiden. We're gonna have a good night's sleep and nothing is gonna happen. I can't sleep, Aiden. I think I need a story. I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Of course, we'll come to see you whenever it's possible. And when you're better, you'll join us in our new home. Okay? Well, I think it's for the best. Goodbye, dear.
You're brave, darling. I know this is difficult. I'm sure it'll work out for you. We uh, gotta go, Susan. Just give me a minute, Philip. enough. Come on. Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not gonna back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and the least dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Not now, no, Aiden. Aiden. Finally, she gets the hint. Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Yeah, party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy!
garbage is that? Slide over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Kirsten, you're a genius. Joe, do you want one? No, thanks. I, I, I don't drink, so... You don't know what you're missing, girl. After three or four beers, you'll see the world in a whole new light. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program. It's with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. I, I suppose I've gotten used to it. So, you work with Kirsten's mother? I've never met Kirsten before. Her mom works in my unit, and that's why I was invited. I used to live in, uh, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? On, on the base. I, I, I've always lived there. I was born there. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get, and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and you, what, what are you into? Nothing special. I read a lot. It's boring, <laughs> I guess. Can I, can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, damn, I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't, like, upset you or anything. No, that's okay. Oh. Slow down. Are you, you up for it? I don't... I don't really know how. That's all right. I, I don't really know how to either, so... all the time, but you're really pretty, you know. Thanks. You're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. Thanks. You don't really know me. <laughs> I 
Thanks for the dance mat, but I, I think I'll pass. Guys, guys, why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, great no, idea. no, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it. It's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. You up for demonstration? All right, then. So, what are you gonna do, Jody? Just be quiet and don't move. <laughs> oh, I'm scared already. I just want my pants. <laughs> Shut up, Steven. <laughs> What's happening? There. I saw something. Don't be stupid, Emma. There's nothing. I swear it. Shit, man. What the hell was that? I've had enough. Yeah, me too. Uh, that, that was really scary. I didn't mean to, to frighten anyone. Sorry, I... You know, you guys insisted and... Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important, to open my birthday <sighs> gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong, just exactly what I needed. Now you can stop stealing your mom's <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening, begging for it. Oh, and she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her, my mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut, a slut and a witch. We should like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. <laughs> Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Darkness. Let me go! Bring forth your mighty power! <laughs> <laughs> please! Please let me One out! The first moment I saw I'm it. begging you, please <laughs> let me out! Please! Did someone say cake? Please! Yeah, I all this excitement is making me please, hungry. I get out! I'm begging yeah, you, please let started. me out! <laughs> Get me out of here! Please! Very funny.
funny, Steven. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. The door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason to panic. <laughs> the windows, try the windows. <laughs> They're locked. Guys, this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> 